Good evening, Ana Maria. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Estoy comiendo. I ate. Uh, oh, you're eating. Okay. And how are you? Mom. Fine, Mom. thank. And you? Great. Mom. Mom. I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Good evening, Hector. Va enterado. Good evening. How are you? Fine. All right, that's nice. How was your day? Busy. <laughs> okay, all the time. <laughs> all the time. Yeah, that's good. And tell me, Hector, were you able to, to solve the exercises that you were missing? Yes, yes. You did. Okay, great. Completely. Excellent. Did you get your diploma already? Mm, no. You have not. Okay. Yeah, this will, will, will I receive uh, by e email or? Oh, no, you should download it from the platform. Okay. Um, yeah, just in the progress tab, you can find it. Just let me show you. Okay. Okay. So here in the platform, you go to progress. Ah, okay. And then once you have completed the pass score that that is 80%, you're going to get that okay. button over here in this side. And it's going to say something like get my certificate or get my diploma, something like that. Something like that. So there you can okay. load it, okay? Okay, I will check it. All right. In when you will, cuando, cuando van a pasar la encuesta que uno tiene que llenar o no vamos a llenar encuesta. <laughs> um, I don't really know about that. Um, yeah, maybe you can ask Miss Elena or Jonathan about it because I don't really know about it. Because usually by the, in the last day, uh -huh. uh, they they will pass they will pass the the info the inf the the There's like a survey yeah okay I have uh, the homework too in, with over the eighty percent but I'm not the hundred percent but. <laughs> But I, I can request the, the certificate always. Yes, you can get it once you get to the 80% mark. Yeah. Okay, but I did the, the, bottom, the bottom or the request certificate was able to, to do that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh. Okay. Okay, so. We are very near by the hundred <laughs> percent. Okay. <laughs> Something like that I have. <laughs> <laughs> the hundred percent only have the teacher. <laughs> only for the teacher, come on. The students can get it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, I got it. Yes, because I have 100%. You see, Stephanie got it. Yes. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. How are you, Stephanie? Uh, super good, teacher. Great. How was your day? 
And my day. Very good. Sounds cool. Okay. Good evening, Edwin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am well. What? How was your day? Um, very good, teacher. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Did you finish with the work in the platform? Yes. Okay. I, I, am, I am, I complete the platform. Okay, excellent. Good evening, Sergio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am well, teacher. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. And tell me about the platform. Have you finished as well? Yes, teacher. Uh, yesterday, I finished the platform. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Karen. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Fine. Great. How was your day? Very stressful. Oh, really? Did you have a lot of work? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's so bad. And how about the platform, <laughs> Karen? Have you finished? Yes, teacher, I finished the platform. Okay, sounds good. Good evening, Gladys. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. Great. How was your day? Um, be cool. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. And tell me about the platform, Gladys. Have you finished with all the exercises yes. as well? You did. Yes, I finished. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Good evening, Karina. Teacher. How are you? Excellent. Great. And how about the platform? Have you finished? Yes. All right, that's nice. Okay, I think we are ready to start with the class. So let's see what we get for today's last AM session. Okay, so we are going to start by talking a little bit about already and yet. So today's lesson objective is in this session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. So let me first go to the platform. I'm going to watch the video about already and yet. Let's see, we're going to hear some explanation about them. Please pay attention. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Hi, in this lesson. OK, 
Okay, so as we heard, we use already to mean that something happened earlier than we expected. And with the present perfect already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Here I have some examples. We've already had our breakfast. You see, we have already or we use already right after the, the auxiliary verb have and before the main verb, which is had in the past participle. Next example, Gladys, can you help me to read it, please? With early had our breakfast, I have early made dinner. Thank you. I have already made dinner, we say. Made dinner. Next example, Karina. Has already graduation from college. All right, thanks. She has already graduated from college. college. Look, we say has already. So once again, we use already right after the auxiliary. And we got another example. Hector, can you help me to read it, please? Uh, he is already traveling to Australia. Thank you. He's already traveled to Australia, we say. He's already traveled. Tra now, please repeat. Already. 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 We've already had our breakfast. Already, already had our, already breakfast. our breakfast. I have already made dinner. I have, I have already, I have already made, made dinner. She has already graduated from college. She has already graduated. She has already, has already He's already yeah. traveled to Australia. He's already, He's already, already traveled to Australia. Australia. Okay, so that's the way we use already in sentences. Then we have yet. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of the sentence. Some examples, I haven't eaten yet. You see, we use yet at the end of the sentence. Edwin, help me to read the next example, please. Okay. They have not bought the Christmas gift yet. Thank you. We can also use yet in questions. As in the next example, can you read it please, Sergio? Okay, Stephanie, can you? Uh, have you finished your, your work in the platform yet? Thanks. Okay, so that is what we have about the use of yet. Then notice that we use already in affirmative sentences all the time. That one is only for affirmative sentences. And we use yet in negative sentences and also in questions. So that's the key. Already goes in affirmative sentences and yet goes in questions and negative sentences. Now it's time to practice. I'm going to send you to the breakup rooms for a couple of minutes and you are going to have to make some sentences using the prompts I have over here. So here, first of all, you should check the sign or, or the symbol over here. 
If it's a plus, that means positive. Then we also have negative. And you are going to make, um, in this case, a positive sentence or an affirmative sentence using this information. She already to listen to music. How do we make a sentence in the affirmative way and using the using already? What would be the answer? So tell me, using this prompt, she already to listen to music. How do we make a sentence? She uh, has already to listen to music. She has already. What's the past participle of the verb listen? To listen. Okay, just remember that we do not use the two over there. We just omit it. She has already listened to oh, music. Okay. So that's what you have to do. Just Chair, I have a question. Tell me. Sí, no, lleva yet, al final. no, because here we are making, first of all, we're making yeah, an no, affirmative no, no. sentence and also we're using already. Okay. And yeah, we got some others that take yet. For example, number seven is negative and it takes yet. So just use the information you have there, okay? Okay. All right, so let me send you to the breakout rooms right now and I'm sending you a picture to the WhatsApp group. Here you go. Has already listened. Las, ¿no? sería, creo que es, they haven't gone swimming yet. That's correct. Creo que la segunda. Okay. Uh, the, uh, they have been, haven't. They haven't Me? gone, gone swimming yet. Mm -hmm. Two, okay, gone swimming yet. Two no. Okay. Two gone Perdón? swimming. Two gone. No. Two no. El two no, go. ¿verdad? Solo el gone. Uh, okay, gone. they haven't gone a swimming jet. Uh huh. Sí, verdad? Okay. Yes. Mm. Jet. Okay. A three. Mm, I have. I have, I have or already. Already, already, already. Quiero ver el. Creo que es. No acuerdo si es talk. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Taken, 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 taken some photos. Taken.
to take it. I have ready to take it con el final, del final son for it. I've already, I've already took, to take, to, eh, creo que se, quiero ver, el participio de, take, perdón. Take, the past participle is taken. Take it. Yes. Con et, ed. Take it. Okay. We. Take it. We. We have. Already. All. Already to help. Just remember, we do not use the two over there. Just a minute. Okay. To help. Then Thank you, Tim. El participio de help es mm, ah. con ed, ¿verdad? Um, or have, you said. What verb? Can you repeat it? Hell, o sea. Yeah. Es en la, en have. Which en one? la cuatro. Number four, help. Help, sería help. we help, help, help. Uh, we have already to help that in the kitchen. Okay, just okay. remember, we do not use the two. We only say we have already helped Jane in the kitchen. ¿Cómo se escribe help in... Oh, it's just um, with ed. You just add ed. H e l p e d. Okay. okay. I'm sending it in the chat as well, so you check it. So. La cinco es verdad, la que sigue. You, yes. You've already played my guitar. My guitar. Estoy confundida con los tú. ¿Dónde van los tú? You don't use them. El tú en este caso solamente eh, se ha utilizado para indicar el verbo en infinitivo. Pero al conjugarlo en la forma de past participle ya no tenemos que, que utilizar el tú. Ah, solo, pues, solo se quita. quita. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Thank you, ya aprendí. Ok. Entonces sería you you have already played my guitar. Exactly, that goes. Yeah. Like that. He has already gone. He ha he's uh -huh. he's already gone out. Gone out with my friend. That's correct. Is it right, teacher? Go now. Yes, yeah. that's fine. Eh, lo que sería, 
I I haven't having having I have yes, I haven't I haven't uh, what watch it watch it watch it what is my 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 third jet that's right shirts i love them shirts church jet that's fine okay i'm leaving see you in a moment okay teacher see you for that see to take in some, some photos. Some photos. photos. Ah, dice, ya otra tengo es... que tomar alguna foto, dice. Ajá. La otra Ajá. es, también es positivo. No, pero podría ser también, ya he tomado algunas fotos. También, ya he tomado algunas fotografías. Uh -huh. okay. la, la, la cuarta uh -huh. sería, sería... We have it. We have already. We have it. Help it. Es, sí, pero es we have. Sí. Yes, sí. we o have. Sea, el, yes, we have siempre already. Siempre el we have already. To helping. To help it. Help it. O sea, el, el pasado ahí, uh -huh. es, el pasado participio es... Help it. Help it. Sí. Help it. James, Just remember James, that we... The kitchen. Hi. Um, let Hi, me just teacher. remind you that we do not use the two over there. We are just... We, do, we only have the two, like to do or to help, to indicate that we're talking about the infinitive form of the verb. But once you convert it to the past participle, you just omit the two, okay? So it would be, we're talking about number four, okay. right? Or what number is it? Yeah, we already, we have oh, already three. helped Janet uh -huh. Jane in the kitchen. Exactly, that's how you say it. We have already helped Jane in the kitchen. Ah, el, no, no convertimos el gel, el gel, no cambia el gel. Yeah, you say health. Uh, But you don't use the two anymore. Pero al convertirlo en, pas, en pasado participio, pas participio, ya no utilizamos el two, porque el two solamente está ahí para, para indicar o para mostrar el infinitivo. Ah, entonces diríamos... We have already helped. Exactly. Ah, okay. Okay. Y así sería en las demás. Y así sería en las demás, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. All of them go the same way. Okay. La, entonces, número cinco. Entonces, yeah. perdón, 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 ¿cómo, que, cómo era cuatro? La cosa que les teníamos bien, o, o el verbo de help no va a cambiar. No, we have already helped Jane in the kitchen. Ah, ah ok. Yeah, ah, okay. Lo, lo, lo. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que cambiaba entonces? Solo eliminamos eh, el, no, el tú. No, el tú. Ah, ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok, thank you. Okay. Okay. Entonces, vamos por la number five. Okay. You have already played my guitar. Yes. This is positive también. Entonces sería you you have you have already aquí sería played ¿Verdad? My guitar, volveremos ah. a usar el tú. Sí. Sí, sí. Ajá. Entonces sería, if you have already the play, play 
Make it dark. Okay. Mm. Number six, también es positive. Uh, aquí sería, he, he has, ¿verdad? He has already. Y aquí también vamos a eliminar el two. Yes. Entonces sería, he has already. Eh, gone. Gone. Gone, gone out, out with my friend. Sí. Ok. Pero es, es he has already. Sí, he, has, he has already gone out, out. Gone out with my friend. With my friend. Sí. Él ya ha salido con mis amigos, dice. Uh -huh. Sí, él ya ha salido con mis amigos. Entonces, la siguiente que es negativo. Um, dice, I haven't. I, I, ha I haven't. I haven't. Wash, wash it. Wash it. Sí, con ED al watch final. It. Uh -huh. Wash it. My, My shirt. Shirt. Yet. Yet. Uh -huh. Ah, no, justo el tiempo. Uh -huh. Y la otra. Bueno, falta 29 segundos. <laughs> la Okay, so in order to check the sentences, we are going to use the chat. Let me assign a sentence to each of you. And I want you to type the right form in the chat. Let me see, number one would be for Stephanie. Can you type it please, Stephanie? In the chat or? Yes, in the chat. Okay. Number one or two? Number one. And then okay. Karen, you type number two. Number three is going to be for Edwin. So we got okay. number one, she has already listened to music. That's correct, Stephanie? Okay. Teacher. Yes? Digo ya la tres. And we're just waiting for number two. And you can type it now. Okay. Who's, who's grading number two? Was it Karen? Yes. Okay. 
Then let me assign number four to Ana Maria. And number five to Andrea Araceli. Okay. Number four, teacher? Mommy. Yes. Edwin, are you ready with number three? Yes. Okay, you can send it now, please. Okay. I have already taken some photos. Okay, you say I have already taken some photos. That is correct. Number four, Ana Maria, do you have it? It says we have already helped Jane in the kitchen. That's right, Anna. Okay. And number five, who's making number five? Andrea. Yes, teacher. Okay. Meanwhile, let me assign number six to, let me see. Karina, take care of number six, please. And number seven is for Hector, number eight for Gladys. Okay, number five, you have already played my guitar. That's fine. Thanks, Andrea. Okay, so we're waiting, waiting for six, seven, and eight. Number six, he has already gone out with my friends. That's correct. Thanks, Karina. Number seven and eight. And let me assign number nine to Franklin. And 10 is going to be for, Wasn't participated. Teacher number eight. Um, that is number nine, Franklin. Uh, nine. Okay. Okay. Yes. And number ten. Let me ask Stephanie again, please. And we got number seven from Hector. It says, "I haven't washed my shirt yet." Yeah. Thanks, Hector. We got number nine, they have already done the washing up. And we're missing number eight and 10. We have already made my bed, okay. And the last one, you haven't spoken to my math teacher yet. Great. Do we have any questions about any of the sentences? No question. All right, then let's continue by talking about four and scenes. 
We're going to start by practicing, well, first of all, watching a video and listening to the conversation, then we're going to practice it. So I need everybody to pay attention to the video. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, so now it's time to practice the conversation. Let me ask the people to read it. That would be Edwin and Andrea. Can you help me to read the conversation, please? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. I am I am sorry. I am late. How you been in how long? No. Ah, perdón, how long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about that food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot. I ate it a lot there. I did know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thanks for reading. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Oh, okay. Tom. Yes, green curry. Hey, green curry. Oh, that is a kind oh, of food. Yeah. Yeah, it's a kind of food, kind of um, like a sauce or something like that. Green curry. Okay, so let me ask another pair to read. That would be Gladys and Franklin. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Uh... I start, uh, I am sorry, I am late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chose a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Had you ever eaten, eaten more, more food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I have a several time. Or how about that food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I eat, eat a, lo a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Thank you. Okay, now I need you to repeat, please. Chosen. 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 Can't decide. Can't decide. Can't decide. Eden. 
Eating. Eating. Moroccan food. Moroccan food. Moroccan. Moroccan food. Delicious. Delicious. I've. Delicious. I've. 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 Several times. Several times. Time. There Thai. are times. Thai. 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 Thai food. Food. Thai food. Thai food. Actually. 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 Eight. 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 Because just remember that there's a difference in pronunciation between this verb, eight, which is the simple past, and then we have the past participle, eating. Eight, eaten. 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 Okay, let me have one asper to read the conversation. That's going to be Hector and Ana Maria. Okay. <clears throat> I'm okay, sorry. I'm, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever ate Moroccan food? Uh, no, I haven't. It is good. It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as Tainer. I ate it a lot here. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thanks for reading, Hector and Ana Maria. Now let's listen a little bit about the explanation behind the use of for and since. In a second, it's loading since my internet is kind of slow today. There we go. For and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, so since and for are two time markers that we can also use with the, together with the present perfect. And then uh, we say that we use since 
whenever we're talking about a specific moment when something started in the past for example here when we say i have worked here since 1990 since and then we mention that specific moment or that time when we started working over there and then the other one we have is for let me go to that one we use for whenever we're mentioning a period of time for example whenever we say for six years for a week we're mentioning periods of time and here we have some examples on how to use it together with the present perfect she has lived here for 20 years that's the period of time right 20 years we have taught at this school for a long time a long time it's a period of time that we are not even defining then let me provide you with some other examples uh, for example if i was talking about the last week what do i say for or since for for are you sure since yes in this case we use since since last week because um we were we are talking about or we're referring to a starting point for example we can say i have been here since last week i have been here since Hola. last week estaba acá desde la semana pasada and let me tell you this one 10 seconds four four ten seconds exactly there we use four four ten seconds can you make an example using that phrase? Can you think of an example? Uh, for... Since yesterday. Since yesterday. Okay, that's another thing that we could say since yesterday. Now try to use for 10 seconds in a sentence. I study, I have a study for 10 seconds. Okay, that's good. Very fast. And we got... <laughs> Okay, then we have Christmas Eve. Do we say since or for Christmas Eve? For? For? Are you sure? Mm. Here we should or use since. Since. <laughs> since. Since. Yes, since Christmas yeah. Eve. Can you make an example? Uh, I didn't have holiday in Christmas Eve. <laughs> okay, just remember to use the present perfect. I haven't had. I haven't had, okay. I haven't had a holiday since Christmas Eve. Okay. Very good. Another one would be a decade. Do we say for or since a decade? For. Exactly, there we use for, for a decade. Now make an example, please. I stay here for a de decade. Okay, great. So that's sure. the way we use since and for. Hi, tell me. I have stayed for a decade. What is the meaning uh decade? Una década. Ah, Ten okay. years. Any other questions? 
Maybe not. Okay, so that would be all for today's class. Thanks for your attention. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.